Good morning, guys. I have the same conversations with my guys, day in, day out. We put the world to rights. Part of that is my disgust at chunky monkeys. Now, I'm not fat shaming, but there are health consequences of obesity. And especially when it comes to testosterone replacement therapy, you have an increased propensity to aromatization, so conversion of testosterone to estrogen. And excess estrogen, so having an abnormal ratio of testosterone to estrogen, has negative health implications. The fundamental symptom, which is the biggest pain in my bottom, is anxiety. Because what happens when you guys have anxiety? I get it in the neck. Oh, Doc, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. So, what should we do about it? We should take responsibility for our own health. Now, I've said this before. You don't get fat animals in nature unless they're hibernating or in the cold. But if you imagine the fine balance of nature, the harmony, the necessary structure, you don't find fat predators because they can't catch the prey. You don't find fat prey because they get eaten by the predators. So there's a natural order that is established and it's survival survival of the fittest now i like darwin's theory of evolution however i do think there is more to life than this theory and whether we talk about spiritualism whatever let's not go into that but i always have a bit of fun with my guys so let's consider a film the Day the Earth Stood Still. It's a classic film. There's a remake with Keanu Reeves. Both great films, actually. But this alien was sent down to planet Earth to save the planet. And this scientist got befriended by him and thought, right, yeah, I'm going to support him. And so mistakenly, she thought saving human species. But he was actually sent down to save the planet, not our species, because we are destroying the planet. Now, I'm not going to get all Greta Thunberg on you, but if you look at our species and if you look at our higher state of consciousness, our intellect should be used for good, not for evil. But what do we do? We're parasites. We are destroying the world. We are destroying the natural order, whether that be the environment or ourselves. And self-preservation, self-preservation should be of paramount importance to us. But appreciating that the needs of the individual and what we should be doing is trying to affect a positive change to our environment. Now, what do we do as human beings? We make these grandiose statements. I want to save the planet. Listen, you can only affect a change to your immediate environment. And if we all got on the same wavelength and we all thought, right, I'm going to create positivity, not negativity, and make a positive impact on our my world, then we would save the planet. But the planet's going to be fine. The planet's going to be absolutely fine. We're not going to be fine. And what's happening to our species? We are becoming sick. We live in a sick society. It's disgusting. Testosterone levels are dropping. And they're dropping because we are poisoning ourselves. Now, we're poisoning ourselves voluntarily and involuntarily. Voluntarily, booze, obesity, processed crap that we put in our diet, 
uh, we live in concrete jungles, we don't ever go back to nature. We might get 10 minutes and go, oh yeah, I've, 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 I've touched base with nature. We're animals and we need to appreciate that. And I think that's something that really irritates me. The model, the machine, and how powerful the machine is. The machine is incredibly powerful and it's protected. It's protected by the big companies. Now again, look at sugar. Sugar poisons us. Sugar is addictive. Sugar is in most foods. So if you think about us being under the control, we are under control. We're being manipulated constantly. So the foods that have sugar in them, why the hell do you need sugar? Sugar is poison, it's sweet. It's, to, it's designed to create a dopamine response, a reward. But real food actually tastes bloody nice. We're supposed to eat real food, but they taint food with sugar to make it tasty. Does that not seem rather peculiar to you? We are, we are being poisoned, manipulated. Weird. Oh, it's okay, yeah, 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 fine, you know. We, we, we need to take responsibility for our own health. We live in a very paternalistic society. So you've got the NHS. The NHS was founded on need. And the entitled, it's been abused, abused by everybody. And it can't, it can't ha hold the same standards that it once held because our expectations have changed. The model has changed. But we abuse the crap out of everything because it's unfortunately in our nature to be abusive. And it shouldn't be in our nature to be abusive. We should live in harmony with our surroundings. But we are misdirected. We are misdirected by everything. We're misdirected by the machine. Oh, it's so disgusting. It really is disgusting. So what are you supposed to do? You can't change the world. But you can change your immediate environment. And that's what we need to concentrate on. We need to concentrate on not destroying the bloody world. You must take responsibility for your own health and affect a change to your own psychological well-being and physical well-being. It isn't a 12-week transformation course. It's a lifetime. You have to work at your health 24-7, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, onwards and onwards and onwards. You need to set small goals in order to achieve a big goal. Now you don't, you, you, should, you should always, always, always adjust those goals, goal, goal set points, because unfortunately we are slothy. Pat yourself on the back, you've achieved that goal. I can rest now. What are you resting for? I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about materialistic gains um, because I think that is a fundamental problem within our human psyche. Materialism is poison. What we need to be doing is making sure that we understand our place in this society and understand our place not only in this machine, which is poison, but actually realizing that we have a higher state of consciousness and that higher state of consciousness should be used to save ourselves and the planet. We should be working in perfect harmony. There's no wonder aliens don't come down to this world. Look at us. We are, we are the superior species. Look at how unhealthy we are. It's disgusting. Look at what we're doing to Mother Earth. Give me strength. I mean, honestly, if there's a higher power, he'll be ashamed. If there was, if there, if there, there are aliens, they should probably come down and get rid of us because we're bloody useless. My God, what have we done with our high state of consciousness? So, to effect a positive change to the collective, change must start with the individual. You must realise the importance of balance and harmony. 
So, take responsibility for your own health. Do not rest on your laurels. Work at it. Guys, come on.